The first step is to install your sheathing against the steel stud wall. Screw the sheathing boards onto the steel studs. Install screws every 8 inches or as required by local conditions. Pencil in a vertical line so you know where your studs are and easily measure the 8 inches using the distance between your thumb and baby finger. The next step is to install cement board on top of the sheathing. Again, install screws about every 8 inches. Try not to oversink your screws. Keep them flush with the wall. Once the cement board is up, remove any labels and wipe down all of your joints with a sponge and water to clean any dust or debris from the construction site. Mixing polymer modified pre-bagged mortar from Laticrete. Start with about 5.5 quarts of water in your bucket, then add about half the bag of mortar. Using a slow speed mixer, mix it up add the second half and mix again. Add small quantities of water until the final mix reaches a smooth, trowelable consistency. Once you're satisfied with the consistency, let the mortar slake, or in other words, sit to react with the water for five to seven minutes. After the slaking period is over, remix the mortar. It's important to remember to never add water after the slaking period is over. If screws were all flush with the wall, there's no need to pre-treat. However, if some have been over-screwed or over-sunk, they need to be filled with mortar. Once these have been treated, use the self-adhering, alkali-resistant mesh tape along all of the joints. Make sure you maintain a 2-inch overlap with the tape on all joints. Now, mud all of the joints by packing the mortar into the tape. Once the joints are dry, smooth over the surface with a flat edged trowel to get rid of any peaks left behind. Then use a sponge and water to clean off any dust or debris. It's now time to apply the air and water barrier to the entire surface. Apply two coats, each 15 to 22 mils thick. You can check the thickness by using a film gauge. Drag it about an inch down the wall and check your reed. When the first coat is dry, apply the second coat using the same thickness. You'll know a coat is dry when it is changed to more of an olive green color. When the second coat has dried, you can set the stone. Next, install your ledger board. A ledger board is a temporary support for the adhered veneer. Ledger boards can be created from several different products, such as metal or wood. The important characteristics for any ledger board is that it is straight and true, ensuring that it's not bowed or warped. The ledger board should be installed prior to the installation of the adhered veneer so that it creates a ledge for the units to sit on to provide support to the units until the high bond masonry veneer mortar has cured. It should be installed so that it is level and true. Once the high bond masonry veneer mortar has cured for a certain section and the adhered veneer is stable, the ledger board can be removed. When setting Aris tile, Always start with the corner units and work your way towards the center of the wall. Now you're ready to butter the wall and install the stone. Working in sections, use the flat edge of your trowel to coat the surface. Next, use the notched edge to create grooves in the wall. Once the wall is ready, back butter the units, filling all surface irregularities and ensuring 100% coverage. When you set the stone, 
Squish and slide the unit back and forth to set it, and then continue on to the next stone using the same process. Continue up the wall. Use 3 8 of an inch spacers to maintain an equal gap between tiles. Set profile errors and smooth errors the same way by back bettering the wall, the unit, and then using spacers to maintain a 3 8 of an inch gap. When cutting end units to size, use a water saw. Then clean the face of the unit using a sponge and clean water. After you cut a rock Daris tile, you must re-rock the end. Use a hammer and chisel and chip away the Aris to finish the unit. Use your water saw to cut smooth Aris tile and profile Aris tile, always remembering to clean the face with the sponge and clean water afterwards. To cut Aris profile corner units, Simply tilt the blade on the water saw 45 degrees. Clean with a sponge and water and then you're ready to set. Once you've set all of your stone, it's time to point your joints. Use the Laticrete pointing mortar and mix the bag with about 2 quarts of water. Once it's well mixed, let it slake for 5 to 7 minutes and then remix the mortar. Never add water after the mortar has slaked. Next, take a pointing bag and cut the tip to the size of the joint. Fill the bag with the pointing mortar and point your joints. Make sure you fill the joint right to the face of the tile. When you've pointed all of your joints, let the mortar set until it's thumbprint dry. Then go back through and tool all of your joints with a wooden dowel. Using light pressure, pack the mortar back to finish the joint. Lastly, wipe away any excess with a hard bristled brush and then lightly sweep away any remaining debris with the soft bristled brush. <laughs> 